Hey everybody, um, so I've been wanting to do a video about some changes in the beliefs, you know, that I've held um, for quite a while now. I haven't really been able to get it down into one video though. I'm a talker, if you can tell. And um, I just wanted to um, kind of introduce this series that I'm going to be doing about my own kind of beliefs. But I wanted to say first of all that, you know, I don't believe that beliefs should be set in stone. I believe that beliefs are non-volitional ideas that we hold based on our experiences, based on what we've been taught, um, based on, you know, kind of intuition and personal gnosis, and um, kind of our own um, logic or uh, thinking about things. So with those things in mind, um, I wanted to make some videos about my personal beliefs on, you know, a series of issues like morality, like afterlife, and so forth and so on. These are not meant to be dictations on how other people should believe. Um, I believe that people make up their own minds on things based on their own experiences, and that, you know, um, that they should be encouraged to kind of critically think about, you know, what one believes, and instead of believing in something because it sounds cool, or because, you know, you like the culture, um, believing in it because that's what makes the most sense to you. Um, so what I wanted to do now is talk about um, what my beliefs were when I was Wiccan and kind of what got me to the point of deciding that I could no longer call myself a Wiccan. Um, I, I was Wiccan for nearly 10 years. Um, I, I was uh, dedicated in uh, late 99 and, uh, you know, kind of progressed in my path um, and learned a lot, you know, and stuff like that. I'm the type of person where when I discovered this world, this world of magic, it was like the world had gone from being very small to this open world with, you know, kind of endless possibilities. Um, I started to see things in a much broader idea, and so because of that, I wanted to absorb as much knowledge about this new world that I had discovered as much as possible. Hence the reason I'm kind of, you know, so emphatic about learning and education and stuff of the magical arts, of paganism, mythology, and things like that, because for me, that, that greatly advanced me on my path. And you know, I, granted, that's not the only way to do things, but for me, that was a great help. And so that's basically the reason why I'm here, to kind of bestow that gift that I was given from the people who helped me on others who may not have people in their area to go to. And I'm going to continue to do that. I still consider myself to be a witch. I'm still a practitioner of the magical arts. But I can no longer call myself Wiccan, and I'll tell you why. I had an experience, um, and it was an experience that made me realize that instead of this duality concept, which is in Wicca, for me, what seems more real is the Greek gods. Um, they have made themselves evident to me, and because of that, in, in several different ways, they've made themselves evident to me, and I'm not going to get into all my personal experiences. But, um, you know, I can say that I have a very strong relationship with them. Um, we do daily prayers, and well, by we, I mean Chris and I, because we live together, and we both honor the Greek gods, um, and things like that. So I, because of that, this whole concept of, you know, one god, one goddess, which is in Wicca, didn't really make sense to me anymore. I couldn't just pick one god and one goddess. And I realized that not all Wiccans do that, but the idea that all gods are one god and all goddesses are one goddess did not really relate to me anymore because of that. Um, so that was kind of my breaking point from Wicca. I still honor the elements. I still honor the... Um, the Sabbaths, actually, too, and I'll get into that, why um, why that's okay, being the Greeks have different holidays. I'll make a whole video on that, I promise. And um, 
in a lot of ways my beliefs are still the same, but I can no longer call myself wicked because I don't honor that duality concept in my gods. I do believe there's duality in nature, but I believe that instead of being pantheistic, my gods are panentheistic, which means that they direct nature, they, they rule nature, and therefore, um, you know, they're, they are kind of both part of nature and separate from nature. So the duality that exists in nature, I don't believe necessarily exists within our deity structure. I'll put it that way. But anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of talk about what it was that made me decide that I could no longer recall myself Wiccan, even though I was for like a decade. And, um, you know, I'm going to make a series of videos about my beliefs and um, talk about, you know, um, those things that make sense to me and so forth and so on. So I hope you'll watch. Um, please comment. And with all my videos, I'd like to say up front that if your comments are not productive, if you are just here to bash people or to proselytize or um, to spam, I'm going to, you know, block you and remove your comments because that's not what this page is about. So, blessed be.